Welcome to the Business Finance Bulletin, episode 250. Welcome again to the latest Business Finance Bulletin with me, Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services, the commercial finance expert. In this bulletin, Boost Capital joins open banking revolution, the importance of checking your credit score and use of asset finance jumps in January. Let's open this bulletin with news from Boost Capital, the short-term business finance provider, that it is now using open banking technology in order to speed up its finance-making decisions. Now, first of all, what is open banking? Well, open banking was launched in January 2018, and the idea is to make use of technology whereby lenders, instead of asking for paper copies of your bank statement, they can, with your permission, automatically link up with your bank and extract whatever information they need on how you run your financial affairs. It just makes it so much easier than you having to download bank statements, um, PDF them, scan them, and then send them on to the lender. So it means for the likes of Boost Capital that's now utilising this technology, they can make even faster and, more importantly, more accurate decisions about your finance request. So if you do um, have a short-term business finance need and you want to know more about Boost Capital, just go along to their website, which is boostcapital.co.uk, or alternatively, drop us an email, info at businessloanservices.co.uk and we'll take you through the process. When it comes to raising business finance, one regular question we ask our clients is, what is your personal credit score like? Now, I often have to have the discussion with business owners about why this is important. Well, lenders do want to know what your financial circumstances are like. And many business owners think, hang on a second, I'm operating through a limited company or a partnership or a sole trader. That's business. That's different for me personally. Why does a lender want to know about my credit score? Well, think about this way. If your personal financial circumstances are in a bit of a mess, what are you going to do? You're more than likely to pull cash from your business in order to solve your personal problems. And the problem there, of course, is that inadvertently you may put your business under pressure with that cash that you've taken out. That's why lenders think it's important. So there's a recent survey just come out from Experian, the credit reference agency, and they found out that only 49% of people have ever researched their credit score. It is really important that you do it, especially before you go applying for finance. So how do you do this? Well, if you haven't got a regular uh, kind of subscription with one of the main credit reference agencies, you can get something that's called a statutory credit report. It only costs two pounds, quite a low amount the government has set that in order to make it accessible to everybody so all you have to do go to your favorite search engine type in either Experian Equifax or call credit followed by statutory credit report and there you will find out how you can download this report if you want to know other ways in which you can improve your business credit score um, I did a video some time ago uh, with a number of tips on what you can do and I've included a link to that um, video in the description box below so please go ahead and check your credit score especially if you're just about to apply for finance. Let's close this bulletin with our regular look of what's going on in the asset finance world. The Finance and Leasing Association have released its latest monthly figures to January 2019 in terms of the volume of business written by its members. Now, its members are doing deals to help business owners buy plant and equipment, commercial vehicles, IT equipment and general business equipment. Looking at January 2019 compared to January 2018, in that month, there was a 9% jump in the volume of business written. Now, 9%, that is quite a significant jump against the background of business owners saying that they're not keen on investing at the moment. Also, compare that to bank lending, which is steadily declining month on month. So we can see business owners are really seeing asset finance as an alternative source of finance. What are they spending the money on? Well, in January 2019, there was a 26% jump in the amount of business written to purchase plant and machinery. And in terms of IT equipment, there was a 45% jump there. So we can see you know, business owners are suddenly spending again, certainly in January. And it kind of mirrors what we're seeing. We're seeing lots of booms and busts, booms and busts 
going on in the business world at the moment. Well, lots of bursts of activity, then things going quiet again. Bursts of activity, everything going quiet. And that's really been reflected in these asset finance figures. So if you want to know more about asset finance and what it can do for your business, just drop us an email, info at businessloanservices.co.uk, and we'll happily talk you through all the various options. Well, that's it for another bulletin. As ever, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and a share. Look forward to being with you next time. In the meantime, have a great, successful and profitable week.